Hello, everybody. Again, that would work so well if I'd stop breathing into the mic. <clears throat> also, if I had an actually deep voice, that, that would help too. So how is everybody out there? Don't mind me, I'm just messing with the uh, dial on my headset here. Trying to get a good balance of sound. A good volume, anyway. Yeah, I, I kind of understand why they won't shut up about it. Between all the memes of Sans being in Smash, if that actually happens, I think people will actually die of happiness. And probably throw more money than God owns at Nintendo for the copy of that game, so it'll never happen. Because Nintendo is apparently truly adverse to doing things that make them tons of money. This might be a bit loud. Just a bit. <clears throat> yeah. Grandchildren making reaction videos to Smash Bros. 10. So let's see. See, last we left off, the good times were over because we had way too many characters talking about the bad things that had happened. Oh yeah, that's true, they did recently, didn't they? I haven't actually been able to watch much of their stuff because time. Well, time and lack of even more time to download the uh, subtitled episodes. So, um, shall we get started and see what madness awaits us this time? Because we we know it's going to be um, it's going to be fun for some value of fun. Ah. Yeah, Tomitaki and Shion have both summoned the apocalypse. Reina was ecstatically waving her arms at me, already brimming with energy. It's morning somewhere. I grabbed Raina's head and rubbed it with my hand. Personal space! Personal space! She squirmed, reveling in the motion like a cat. Yahoo, Kei-chan. Today, I'm sorry. 
I don't think you have to apologize for Keiichi being an idiot. Yeah, that. Yeah, but more importantly, I learned the things gonna bring on the end game and end times. The slight muscle pain throughout my body and my sluggish movements were already obvious. I grin dryly and the three of us break out into laughter. Please don't ask them about the apocalypse. Please, please, please just let that one slip away. Please, Keiichi, I'm begging you. Right, I just remembered. Today was Rika-chan's big performance. She'd been practicing especially hard for this day. As a friend, I need to make sure I went and cheered her on. And now it's spooky night time! As we got closer to the shrine, we started passing by more people and seeing a lot of parked cars. It began to get noisier, too. I thought I could hear something like a Bond dance song. Without being able to restrain my impatience, I dashed up the entire flight of stone stairs. I'll pay for that in the morning. Whoa, the shrine grounds. They were packed with people. It was a festival if ever I saw one. あのじいさん、去年の綿流しからずっと体調崩してたんだけど、元気になったみたいだね。Max's game, huh? Yeah, there were a lot of villagers here that I didn't really know. They must have all been pouring in just for today. A brat. Satoko too seems somehow energetic. Of course, I'm the same way. The previous game was Shion. <laughs> I see. Rika Chan's the shrine maiden for today's festival, after all. It's probably a pain for her to say hello to all the elders. <laughs> Don't take her home. I said, don't take her home. Rikachan wore an immaculate shrine maiden outfit that looked fresh off the shelves. It was a perfect fit for her somehow mis mystical appearance. Jitsuni 
As she spoke, she began to do some twists and stretches. There was approximately one person here getting a nosebleed from watching Rika-chan move. すごく可愛いと思うぞ。かなりいかず。不景の振りをして写真を撮りまくりたいくらいだ。2点から撮影して立体視できるようにすれば、立体のナマリカちゃんが自宅でいつでも食べ。元へ眺め放題。That's not healthy, man. Raina's eyes and mine glittered with stars as our noses bled and we drooled. Damn it, Keiichi! We're gonna regret that line later, aren't we? We all laughed together again. Debut? Didn't didn't she do this last year? Oh god, it's a boss fight. この先のお嬢ちゃんじゃねえな。食ってきな。豚肉たっぷりの焼きそばだぜよ。今年はイコリングまで入ってる。ボリュームはよ。へいおやじ。今年の焼きそばもなかなか力作じゃないの。2巻
Yeah, Keiichi, I wouldn't say he's a good cook, but he's a good judge of cooking. Maybe. Possibly. We're, we're having a food critic contest, are we? Though she was all for it a moment ago, Satoko hesitated to give her thoughts. Hey, no, what's the matter? Everyone else takes one of their own and puts it in their mouths. You know, having no octopus and a ball of fried bread is not always a negative thing. I'm, I'm just gonna say. But this takoyaki vendor. Could this be some sort of festival or summer only octopus free takoyaki stand? An evil takoyaki stand that skipped on the octopus because they figured it would make them good money today? Fair enough. Takoyaki? I would imagine that's part of what takoyaki is. I'm not sure though. I am not an expert on Japanese cuisine. Our quizzical looks seem to be drawing equally dubious stares from the people in line. Uh-huh. Yeah. After hearing that, several surprise guests left the line. It had the exact opposite effect. It wasn't half bad, but after hearing the there's no octopus in it clause, even more people left the line. Ouch. Yeah, that was too honest. Even more customers leave the line, dealing a lethal blow. There were other takoyaki stands around, after all. Yeah, I yeah, that vendor's not gonna last long. Kah, you idiot. Satoko's angry outburst was the finishing blow. No saving this crab. Perhaps I, Keiichi Meibara sama, will lend a generous hand. Why? 
I mean, the vendor kind of tried to cheat people, it looks like. Where are we going to save this vendor? Pro? I shoved the stick into an octopusless takoyaki and crammed it into my mouth. As before, there wasn't any octopus in it. But Meons had some in it. That was the important point. Yeah, we, we need the anime protagonist powers. Everyone gasped in surprise, including the takoyaki vendor glaring at us. The takoyaki vendor looked down, unsure. We all cry. Those watching were listening intently, wanting to know why octopus less takoyaki deserves such a high rating. でも でも、This logic is going to work, isn't it? どうして本物は then the man, who'd been looking down this whole time, mumbled. Ah, so He's really going here. And why does Keiichi know that this, this area of octopi are better? Why does he know this? この
just out of curiosity, for those people who know, how big is an average takoyaki ball? I mean, you're putting eight of them on a stick that can't be huge, but about how big do they generally make the things? <laughs> Oh, whoa! The octopus free Takayaki vendor burst into tears. I gently clap one of his shoulders. And plus. As I embraced the shoulders of this man, shedding his manly tears, those watching delivered a round of applause, moved by my speech. That inch okay, that's that's about right. So he's a great salesman. That's a hell of a career path. Including the Wonder Boner! Absolutely stunned at my successful pitch, the guy manning the stall next to this one called out to me. Oi, oi, Nijan Tachi! Uchi no Anzame mo tanomu yo! Yoshi! Yore wa tsukameta daro! Kondo a Rena ga ike! Hey, we are in 1983 with this game. It's a new joke, then. Also, hello, Lady Mage. Yes, you may have been one, but this game's 1983, so the Wonder Boner is a new thing. In some, in some forms, anyway. The cat's trying to save you. It looks like she lost herself in this midway through. But a girl giving it such natural praise was itself bringing in some customers. <laughs> A line was quickly forming behind Reina. <laughs> what do you not want to type? Wonder Boner? I'll say it plenty. Uh, there was a. It's not so much a joke from 1983 as it is so much me riffing on an old, old commercial. Uh, just to uh, explain for the people that don't know, there was a product that they invented to quickly debone a fish. And it works. It works really, really well because of the way they designed it. It's basically a metal hook on a stick. But you can basically slide it through the, um, 
You can basically slide it through the fish and it just quickly strips all the bones out of the sucker. Mostly, it, it still leaves a few behind because they break off, but Nostalgia Critic did too. Huh. I wonder if he actually lived, if he was actually alive when the uh, commercial was airing. But no, he used to play all the time on certain TV stations back in the early days of cable. And it was literally called the Wonder Boner. Maybe, maybe. You get a crowd to laugh at the name. Huh. Oh, wait, he did, like, a uh, video on commercials, didn't he? And I haven't watched Nostalgia Critic in a very long time. My, my. I am not surprised the Wonder Boner commercial made it into his short list there. So, <clears throat> One with Don Bluth? A commercial with Don Bluth, or he made a video with Don Bluth? He rate a video with Don Bluth. Excuse me, I gotta process this for a second. I have to watch a Nostalgia Critic episode again. Huh. How the hell did he wrangle Don Bluth? <clears throat> hmm. Oh well. That... That's a thing, I guess. Anyway. Then, a huge line formed in my words. What on earth is this? Oh yeah, I saw that Kickstarter a while back. So they were, okay. Okay, they used him as a shill. Okay, cool. I may still have to watch the video just to see what was going on, but you know. So basically, all these onlookers are just following us around to all the stands. So that's it. Even Rika-chan was gorging herself on the food, getting sauce on the bib she put on to prevent her shrine maiden outfit from getting dirty. Oh no, that's she on stand, isn't it? Whoops! A goldfish scooping stand! A bit out of our element. The onlookers were also watching Neon with hopeful eyes. Delicious? 
この小さいのなんかそのままボリボリと生でいけちゃうよね And the crowd is thinking she's lost her mind. Mi Mio s a w a Nanny, you didn't have to say, Mas, no? Mitchell, Tabetito, no? Kunne, Lena, Kara, Murata, no, Mo, Tabetito, no? Chiga, Ah, Ah, Tashi, Sona, what I did not. Oops. Mion's face went red and she shook it vehemently in denial. Oh, good, you're here. And I bet this club could do that, but they'd all be beaten by Gabra Sheepwood, so, you know. Wait a second. Hey, what the hell? Shion, how long have you been here? Hi, Kei-chan, your name is Minna. Konbanwa. やきそばやさんの時からずっとです。お姉たちは騒がしいからすぐに見つけられました。もう、お姉もあまり私を邪険にしないでください。ね、けいちゃん。私が一緒でもいいですよね。She asked, grabbing my arm and pushing her chest into it. I I think you got that backwards. Personal space. Keichiko, Hanaji deteru yo. I'm serious. Personal space. Back up. Tokoro ten o ostara mu te dete kuru daro. You are not a jelly donut. You're not triangular enough. I'm having flashbacks to Doki Doki Literature Club. じゃあ力を入れたらもっと出てくるかな。God damn it, game! Yeah, we, we, we might get cream filling out of Keiichi here. She hums her cleavage. It's right up against my chest. Drip. That's an appropriate reaction for anyone, Mion. You you keep with that. <laughs> Rika, no! No! God damn it, Rika! I'm not saying this. No. Shion, Rika Chan, and I, our faces not bruised, fell to the ground, limbs sprawled. Yes, thank you, thank you very much, Reina. Hopefully that knocks some sense in the Keiichi, but I doubt it. That is kind of bad. 
considering what she's got to do very soon. Sheesh. Now that Xion was here, the energy around us had increased by 120%. I'm sorry that arm pose still looks like it would have hurt. Uh, that could probably be arranged. Thanks for the warning. Fair. After teasing her older sister so much, Xion ran away into the crowd of people and disappeared. <clears throat> I, yeah, I guess they I guess they don't get along. Don't know what would have given us that idea, but you know. Raina smiled happily, earning her a whack on the head for me on. We went about just like that, really noisily and lively, to the other stands. We were paying money towards the beginning, but midway through, the guys running the shops thought we were just too funny, and we ended up being able to fool around without paying much more. Shion had fun with it. I don't think she got... she learned anything. Thump? The vigorous sound of a big taiko drum echoed through the air. Yeah, technically he was assaulted, but I don't think he was complaining much. Right, it's just about time for Rika-chan to appear in the offertory dance. I kind of wish they'd gone with a more straight translation of this. I mean, I can understand the localization, but... Hearing Doki Doki and not seeing Thump Thump anywhere on the screen or anything similar... Please stop groping Keiichi. You are too young for him. Please, please do this. Please stop. Neon slapped hard on Rika-chan's back. Yeah, Xion did a pretty good heel turn there at the store. Even though it was kind of building up the, in that direction. She did a pretty decent heel turn, really. I ball my hand into a fist and raise it in the air. Rika-chan gave the best smile I'd ever seen, then pivoted on her heel and ran off. What? Really? Are, are you kidding me? Stop that, Twitch. 
応援してやろうぜダメですのよ演舞中は静かにしていないといけませんでございますわよ I got it. Jeez. I rubbed a hand through her hair. She was worried about her good friend up to the end. Neon ran off, and everyone else followed a moment later. A large amount of people had already clustered into the tight space to watch the edifying dance. Edifying? I thought it was purifying. I don't know what it's going to teach us. That's that's what I'm asking. I turned around to look at everyone else, but nobody was there. Where did everyone go? Yeah, they probably get lost among all these people. Oh good, Xion's gonna be there, isn't she? Finally, I spotted the back of Mion's head on the other side of the crowd. No, that's Xion. I'm calling it now. It definitely doesn't look like I can get over there. Yep, we got separated. No big deal. We can just meet back up when Rika-chan's dance is over. I gave up on finding the others and wandered around, trying to look for a place where I'd be able to see better. It didn't take long for me to realize I'd have to settle for watching between the heads of the people in front of me, though. Thump. Once again, an even louder taiko drum resounded. This one was to announce the beginning of the dance. I couldn't see very well, but it seemed like Rika-chan had come on stage with the elders, who were in priestly garb. I heard low exultations of admiration and the seniors rubbing their prayer beads in gratitude. Everyone's heads were in the way, and I couldn't see. It was really frustrating. We should have cut playtime short and come here to get good spots earlier. After Rika-chan intoned the prayer, she took the festival hoe and walked into the pile of quilts stacked onto the altar. That's right. The point of the ceremony was to purify bedding and to hold a memorial service, wasn't it? Then the solemn offertory dance began. She had practiced using a moki pounding mallet. The awkwardly shaped festival hoe Rika-chan held seemed really heavy. Back and forth, up and down. It was doubtlessly difficult to even lift in the air, but she sweated and waved, raised and dropped it again and again. She couldn't just deal with it and do it grudgingly. As a shrine maiden, she needed to retain the dignity and solemnity present at this festival. There must be a ton of pressure on Rika-chan's shoulders right now. Damn, why am I cheering her on from a place I can barely see her? I'm her friend, so I should be right up in the best spot rooting for her. God damn it, Xion, go away! Someone tugged lightly on the back of my shirt collar. It was Xion. She beckoned me outside the crowded ring of people. She had a mischievous grin on her face, and I took her I took it as her saying she knew a good place nobody else knew of. Xion? Nanda nanda? Keep your hands to yourself, though. After she told me so, she ran in a big detour around the throng. Man, it's great to have someone who knows the lay of the land here at times like this. Impressed though I was, I nearly lost sight of her right away. W would that have been so bad? I'm, I'm just asking there, uh, Keiichi. Would, would it have been that bad to lose sight of her? For pretty much the rest of the game? No more getting separated for me. I ran after her so that I wouldn't be left behind. Uh, Keiichi? Have you not noticed this about Xion? Have you not noticed what Xion is? Have you not... Have, have you really not noticed? Yeah, she's taking us to the Jelly Donut Factory. <clears throat>